this one. How you doing? Oh my god! Uh, wow. So you know, normally we have a break and then we have a chat, but we're not having a break. We're just gonna have a chat. Does she look fabulous. Hey? Oh, oh she look stop good? it! Stop being a charmer. Can't um, believe it! What? Congratulations. Thank you. How are you feeling? You just won, Celebrity Big Brother. I know, I cannot believe it. Do you know what I mean? It's, I was even amazed to even be there the day I walked down the stairs. So to walk back up them stairs on my own, whoa. I never, ever expected it, ever. I've got to say, on launch night, what? if I were asked to pick a winner, yeah. I wouldn't have said you. <laughs> Uh, and I don't yeah, mean that yeah. in any other Neil way Ryan, than you know? yeah. unless you'd seen you on The Apprentice, you wouldn't know anything about you. Do you no, know what sure, I mean? Absolutely. Um, yeah. So, well done. Thank you. And you know what? There's been so many big personalities in there and yeah. big stars. Yeah. To even be amongst them was amazing. And so, I've... why do you think the public have picked you then, amongst all those big stars? No idea. I've just I've been myself from the beginning, and I've tried to put people first and think about people's feelings. Yeah. And we've all been on a journey in that house. Yeah. And it was just so nice to be able to share that with them. And if I can be there, then I'm there and have some fun and just have a great time and just enjoy everything. And I think of it. that's exactly why you have been picked because you seem like a nice guy. You've had a great time. You've mm. kind of stuck to your values and your morals. And you are somebody that people can relate to. Thank you, yeah. Um, you are also a businessman. I am, I am. So what was your strategy? Fortunately. <laughs> Do you know, I didn't have a strategy or a game plan. I never have. I just go with my heart and my gut. You know, and that's got me where I am today, so... But you are competitive. Very, And yeah. it was a game. It was, absolutely. So was there any part that you played? No, not all, but I think we have to realise that when you go into a show like this, you're not there to make friends, but you do naturally. Yeah. And... I was, was about to say, don't start yeah. that again. No, no, oh, but my that goodness. Was, you, you, you don't, but you do, you know? And yeah. I got close to some people in there that hopefully I'll, you know, I'll have friendship for the rest of my life with. Uh, so. One of those people, obviously, was Austin. Absolutely, He's just yeah. come out in second place. Um, He's a legend. It was the perfect ending yeah, to have I couldn't believe it. the two people that I we saw. did that to me. <laughs> <laughs> that we that were, were best mates in the house, had an amazing relationship, and that we saw were so competitive with each yeah, other yeah. in every single task that we threw at you. Um, I've asked him how he would describe your relationship. How would you describe it? Outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that guy he is, is my number one. He's brilliant. And, you know, I'm a loner, and to have somebody in that house to lean on. Both yeah. of us, you know, I think he was sent to me. It was so nice and we had such a great time and have some special moments and yeah. he's, he's a good guy. He's a geezer. Um, he has had a really tough week, though. Yeah. And, and it, in my head, it seemed to start spiralling out of control for him when you said, we don't really know each other. <laughs> Poor Austin. I was like, what are you doing to the and, man? And I know when that hurt his feelings. I didn't mean to hurt his feelings. I just think that, you know, to become good friends, it takes time. Yeah. You know, my friends I've known since I've Absolutely, been a small kid. Yeah. And, I didn't want to, I think, you know, it, it hurt him a little bit. I didn't mean it in that way, I, but, you know, in three weeks, you don't know each other very much, yeah. you know, and it takes time. But well, it takes years to really get to know does. somebody. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Um, so, and, and I then, believe I'm sorry. What? And then to, to top that week off, you, you nominated him <laughs> yeah. as well. Um, and he has said, like, you know, um, he didn't agree with your choices, but yeah. he's tried to understand your choices yeah. uh, and, and why you did it. Um, some people were sceptical that mm -hmm. it could partly be a strategy to take out mm -hmm. your strongest opponent. Was that ever in the back of your never, head? Never, never. I even forgot about, you know, the end result. I just have to be in that house and you have to look at what's fair for everybody else yeah. in there. And as much as I loved him, and it was a hard decision to make because we had that relationship, but, you know, the way he had carried on wasn't, wasn't right and fair on other mm. people. And I'd try to sit down and talk to him on many occasions, but that's Austin and Austin is Austin and we love him for that. You know, but it wouldn't have been the wrong, it would have been the wrong thing to do not to. Yeah. And, you know, I just wanted him to realise, you know, his strengths and, mm. you, know, you know, I tried to do it in the right way. It's a very heated house that you yeah. decided to take part in. Well done you Thank for getting you, through yeah. it and winning it. Um, you always kept your cool. Yeah. How, how do you manage to do that when everybody else around you is losing their heads, when yeah. your best mate and yourself are often at the centre of it? Yeah. How do you keep that calm? Do you know, I used to be such a fiery person. I get from my mother. She's a real feisty woman and she's, you know, but I just started listening and, you know, I just sit there, listen and, you know what, having an argument and screaming and shouting at each other, you don't get any results. It's who can shout the loudest. Mm. So I just like to take my time and, and that's how I am, you know. I don't, what's the point in arguing when you can yeah. talk about it and there's nothing wrong with opinions and different differences, but mm. you don't have to scream and shout at each other, do you? You, do, you must have found something testing in there. Oh, you seem day. to take it all in, yeah, you know, you just be a nice <laughs> bloke and you just get through it. What, what, Believe what me. really <laughs> pushed you? Apart from Farah, what yeah. really pushed you? Um, good question. I don't know, there was... It's hard 
just it's hard living with 14 people that you don't know and you're yeah. not going to get on with everybody and you could nitpick at all sorts of stuff. There's many times I could have moaned about a bit of dirt, dirt on the kitchen or someone's peed on the seat or something like that, but <laughs> you end up arguing over boiled eggs. Who's put the most boiled eggs in a pan or something and like that? And who's had you know? the biggest glass of red yeah, wine? Yeah, exactly. And I just thought, do you know what? I'll let you get on with it. And, um, and I just tried to remain grounded and remember where I was, you know. Are you and Austin going to say really good bubs? I hope so, yeah. I think he's a great lad and I think what he's been through in life is inspirational to be the man that he is and to show that strength and, yeah, I hope so. I hope he's just have a great friendship. I tell you what, what a pleasing pair on the eye to make <laughs> friends as well. It's been absolutely brilliant. And how amazing that what he did for Gail as well. I know, you absolutely know? And incredible. that's a real man, you know. That's, incredible. He's got a massive heart. Um, that's it. So, yeah. Your time with me is over. I cannot believe it. Thank you so much, Thank James. Thank you so much. Congratulations. And thank you, everybody, for voting for me, yeah.